Hey, what's happening, people? Welcome back to K Wings Let's Plays, and uh, this is going to be a live playthrough of Star Wars Squadrons, the story mode, possibly multiplayer, we'll see. <clears throat> and uh, no, this is not like Rogue Squadron. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of people. This game plays very similar to TIE Fighter vs. X Wing, which was a PC series way back when I was a little youngling. So, um, it's a good game, though. It really is. It's worth your time. After Alderaan is destroyed, pilots from the Rebel Alliance fight for the galactic freedom. Da -da -da. Meanwhile, fearless TIE fighter pilots enforce the will of the Galactic Empire. <laughs> Scary. Totes. All right. So... You can actually go and fully customize your character. So like with uh, X-Wing versus TIE Fighter from the 90s, you can play between either a TIE Fighter pilot or a X-Wing pilot or an Alliance pilot. But the difference is, uh, in this one, the story kind of runs parallel to each other, so you'll switch off between playing the Empire side and the um, Alliance's side. You can also fully customize your character, so we're going to make our character... We're gonna go with this guy. He looks cool. Okay. Are you? Were you gonna? <laughs> yes. Are you gonna make um Uncle Roger as a character or no? Time, I believe so. I just I need to are find the to the right it? voice. So all the A voices are female. I've never been more ready. B voices are male. Okay. Yeah, then Happy we want a B here. voice definitely. This ought to be fun. I'm game if you are. <laughs> sound like Uncle. I'm I'll outfly any Imperial pilot. It kind of sounds better. I've never been more ready. <sighs> he sighs. Someone's got to do it. Why me? The guy sounds cool. Veteran B Perfect. sounds great, but... I think it's not... You can't really find one that's Uncle Roger. No, you're not going to be able to find a guy that sounds Veteran like... B. Uncle Roger! <laughs> Veteran B? We can... we... I don't know. <sighs> he sighs. He wins. He wins. I like the I like this sign. All right, all right, we're changing his name. Here we go. Name change. He is going to be. Mm. And this is this is the only time I really shout out other YouTubers, but um, this is this is our uh, our character. He's how do I do the? There we go. This is Uncle Roger. Wait, yeah, I need to I need to do this. So I go up, and then I'll replace his name. It should. Cause I don't like his name. His name sounds stupid. great to see you, um, everybody in the chat. Thanks for the super chat, Brady Power. That's right, right, Amber. Uncle Farlander. No, I'm writing his name right oh, here. Oh, okay, Uncle Roger. Yeah. yeah. How do you spell Uncle Roger? Yeah. So if you guys don't know Uncle, Uncle Roger, Roger is, in space, he tells people how to make. Yeah. Guns. Now he's gonna tell people how to fly X-wings. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have given a different voice. I made his voice. You don't. They don't really have don't an really option have for a lot of voices. Okay. What are you playing? What platforms is this game on? PlayStation. I don't know if it's on anything but PlayStation. You're gonna go with this guy. <sighs> yeah. Or we could. Sorry. Oh. Okay. He looks... Hey Roscoe. Hey David and George. Hello Thomas Boo. Ooh. Hey Cassie. Hi Sunflower. Hello, Zero Blade and Mr. Dac09. Star Wars. I um, am an unexpected variable. Hello, Star Wars Our Masters. Is inevitable, of course. Hello, Tempers. Hi, Brady Power. Hey, Ethan. Hey, Joseph West. Hi, Athena. Called Black Feather. Hello, Red Gaming and um, Ethan and uh, Austin, everybody. Oh, Brady, thanks for the super chat. All right, so we got our team. Let's do this! Thanks for the super chat, Brady Powers says, Hey fellow Dragon Nation members. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the super chat, Brady Power. Woohoo! Alright guys, here we go. New Star Wars game. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Alderaan shows destruction. They incited rebellion and anarchy. And paid the price. Oh, it's not Chad Vader. The 
the survivors continue to spread dissent. Find them. Do not rest until the destruction of Alderaan is complete. Ah, it's the 90s guy. Oh, they should have had Chad. Yes, why isn't Chad Vader? My gosh. He's like the best Vader ever. Like, next to James Earl Jones. Yeah. The That's Vigilance. Awesome, Austin added, recently added a baby Yoshi to his plushie collection. Very nice. Lord Vader's orders are clear. Are they? Yes. Wipe out all that remains of Alderaan. How? I understood the survivors were in hiding. Intelligence reports a possible Alderanian convoy heading to Fostar Haven. You are to draw them out and finish them off. Do you understand that, Captain? Perfectly, Commodore Sloan. Dismissed. Hmm, he doesn't look too thrilled about that. Taking out refugees. Hmm. Oof. So we're going to be starting the game as a TIE fighter pilot. This guy. Squadrons on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroyed? During the Iskalon uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with accordingly. I've prepped our usual Sigma 9 loadout. No. Only standard ties today. Flying old school, sir. This might be a real challenge after all. We... Hmm? We're gonna be TIE Fighters? Me, Teresa. Yeah. But I don't think you understand me. I guess we'll find out. Follow my lead. And don't fire unless I give the order. The convoy is out there. I don't want to scare them off. Let's do this right. That's the guy we're going to play as. The victory is at hand. Okay. We're All playing right. as Uncle Roger. <laughs> no. Uncle oh. Roger's on the uh, Rebel Alliance. We're playing oh. as Blackfeather's his name. All right. Oh, okay. So before we get to it, uh, thanks so much, guys, for all the super chats. And also, we are going to be taking Press care of the music R1 now because um, I did get a heads up from a friend of mine who... Uh, <clears throat> told me that most of the music in this game is from John Williams stuff, unfortunately, so uh, you'll hear it very, very little in the background. Um, I'm going to hear a lot of uh, character voices and dialogue, so this isn't really going to be a full-blown Let's Play because um, <clears throat> people are going to talk a lot, just like X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. I think that should be good. Great to see you guys in the chat, and hopefully you guys are having a great day. My voice is a little scratchy, so that's... I don't know why. I think it's just from talking a lot. I've been on a lot of streams, and we've done we've done a lot of streams. a lot of my voice. We did uh, 60 streams in September. Or at least I did. So, alright. Everything should be good to go. Mm. Here we go. Prepare for launch. Preparing for launch. Now, this entire game is played through first person. Checks. Pilot, boot up your cockpit systems. Certainly. <laughs> he sounds like Obi-Wan. I love it. Oh, really? Yep. Turbines to power. All systems up and running. Now, you can play this using a flight stick and VR as well. But I can't play this in VR for obvious reasons. All right, so we're gonna lock onto the fighter by pressing L two. There we go. <coughs> Forward sensor online and tracking. Now throttle up and deploy out of the hangar. 
Throttling up now, sir. There we go. Now. So we have to follow the leader, basically. We're prepping your Gazanti transport. Stand by. Copy vigilance. All pilots follow me. We'll do a quick pass the fleet calibrating. Mm, the music's there in the background, though. All right. Like, it's easy to talk over it, but. Okay. Whoops. We don't want any collisions. I'm not gonna do any collisions. I'm a great pilot. I got a little lost, though. Thanks so much for the super chat. Um, Brady Power says Steve, Steve, Steve. It's Steve. Is it Minecraft Steve? Okay. Yeah, they're doing stuff with Minecraft Inside, Steve. You forget how big our star destroyers really are. Careful. The shields won't harm us. We're flying so close to the hull, there's no time to get careless. <laughs> Woohoo! This game looks right, beautiful. Sir. I agree. It is good to fly old school again. Forthright about a TIE fighter. Yep, very forthright about a TIE fighter. So we're just kind of uh, patrolling the fleet right now. This takes place after Alderaan has been blown up. So this is uh, a new hope right now, right before a new hope. Oh wow. And we are hunting down survivors of Alderaan to destroy them. Let's go with that. Good. All systems calibrated, and the fleet is in good shape. The vigilance reports our Gazanti transport is ready. Helix Squadron, head to the Gazanti and dock for hyperspace jump. Affirmative. Affirmative. Yeah, our guy sounds cool. All right, time for hyperspace jump. Down below the Gazanti, so its locks can engage. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Brady. Says when Amber finally plays Minecraft, then Steve gets in Smash. That's mm. true. Maybe I made it happen. <laughs> All right. So Thanks, Brady. Here we go. Remember, Helix. We'll have support, but finding the refugee convoy is up to us. They won't escape the Empire twice. Here we go. Oh, that looked awesome. Mm. At the remains of Alderaan. I think. Ooh. There we are. Kind of hitching a ride. Following the leader. Whoa! Just see those ships randomly jump out of hyperspace there. Carriers moving into position. Blockade is forming up. Our rear guard is secure at least. So we're gonna shake down this. Uh, it looks like port. There's a lot of cargo traffic today. Then our convoy might be hiding among them. Agreed. All cargo vessels. This is Captain Lyndon Javes of the Galactic Empire. Prepare for immediate inspection. And this is Vostar Haven Station Master. Kindly avoid harassing my customers. If they cooperate, they'll be fine. Pilot, proceed. You want me to scan Sorry. this thing? Check your forward sensor. It will identify potential targets. What do you want me to scan? 
That thing? No. So, uh, you use the throttle the same way you would in X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. Your throttle is your other joystick. So that means the one closest to the face buttons will be how you move the ship. Now you'll do uh, turns and um, like you know barrel rolls and stuff by pressing the joystick closest to the um, command cross. Oh, okay, cool. So you have to use both joysticks. Scanning. Uh, you can scan by pressing L2, then approach it. Your scan will begin automatically when you are facing the target and within a thousand meters. Ooh, pretty awesome. Yep, you had to scan an X-Wing versus TIE Fighter too. Not so much in Rogue Squadron. Great to see you guys in the chat, and hopefully you guys are having a great day today. And um, I wish I could say more names, but my voice is really not so loyal. I swear. No refugees aboard. Carry on. Good. Check that ship next. Look, I'll pay anything. Just don't impound my ship. All right, scanning. Scan complete. No sign it's from Alderaan. Keep looking. So you're not impounding my ship? There. A ship's trying to flee from a simple inspection. All right, Ember. We should teach them some manners. All pilots, bring your weapon systems online. Pilot, track it on your sensors and fire a small volley. Just enough to damage them. Cycle through targets by pressing X. My customers are legitimate traitors. You have no right. Captain, the station's defenses just activated. Helix Squadron, destroy those turrets. We can't search under fire. Out here, no one shoots unless they're prepared for return fire. Even the Empire should know that. All right, so we need to take down turrets now. Uh, divert power to the lasers by pressing up on the gamepad. Okay. Whoa! Like 4th of July out here. Ow. Where is the turret from the shoot? Ah, there it is. Okay. It's kind of hard to see the turrets because they're um <clears throat> they blend into this establishment. Wow, the AI in this game actually doesn't suck. Uh, they're very helpful, like your squadron mates. That's interesting. That should do. Good shooting, pilot. Our reputation will never recover from this. Then you shouldn't have shot at us. Captain James, I think I found where the refugees are hiding. On our way. Pilot with me. Wait, are those X-Wings? Yeah, they are. One rebel scrapped. That's fine, go for it. Whoops, kind of damaged that. Dibs! 
Enemy shield. Some starfighters like X-Wings have regenerative shields. You must blast through the shields before you can damage the hull. Uh, lead your target when aiming the reticle. I don't care about that. Scratch two. Aww. I said dibs. Repair with L1. I never doubted you. I never doubted you. Die, rebel scum. Where are you at? Scratch four. Alright, let's follow the leader. Random buttons. Can't lose focus. Catch up with that traitor. Lieutenant Carroll to the vigilance. Captain James is aiding the rebellion. Send immediate assistance. Divert engines. Your speed. Okay. Okay, this is kind of lame. I see the convoy dead ahead. Prepare to fire. Imperial Squadron, this is refugee convoy Noble Vildero. We have families aboard. I'm here to help convoy leader. No time to explain. Just get out of this tunnel. I wish you'd seen things my way. Ah! Rebel scum. Well, looks like he got away. Or not. And now we change perspectives. Echo Squadron. There we are. Hey, almost forgot you. Uncle ahead. Roger. Thanks, Amber, for eating in space. Swallow. In space, nobody can hear you Don't eat another one. I'm hungry. Dialogue. Wait till we're in a dogfight or something. I gotta hear what I'm supposed to do. Alright, so I need to follow Echo Leader. 
Wait. Starting systems check. Mm -hmm. Copy. Go somewhere else and eat the croutons. I'm following the wrong guy. Okay, need to follow this guy now. Thank you so much for subscribing. Wait, that's Echo Leader? Run a full systems check. Whoa! Whoa! Whoops. Oh, there he is. My bad. Sorry, boss man. Okay. Is the system check done? I want to go shoot some ties. Well. So you can switch between characters, people are saying, or no? You switch through stories. Oh. It's all automatic. Uh, divert engines. Whoa! Divert power to lasers. Weapons look good. They look better when we're shooting down ties. Okay, weapons work. Next, shield. Double check shields. Double checking shields. We might need to hold out a while. Systems check complete. Formation. Echo three, matching formation. Echo two, standing by. Ah, uh, give me a minute. Echo five, standing by. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, squadron. <laughs> Anyone low on missiles needs to stock up now. Head to the U wing for resupply. Head to what now? Oh, this thing. Bingo. Whoa. Oh, the U wing. Good. Oh, that's really Akbar? Yeah, this is after the events of, or before A New Hope. All right, wow. time to go. If you're gonna make a Star Wars story game, then, and you want to make money, you do it after the original trilogy. Because people like it. Because people like those movies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, here we go. S foils down. I think. All right. Prepare for light speed. Whoa, where are we now? Admiral, Somewhere in space. I'm sorry, what? What are we doing? Why are we going near the Star Destroyer? Are you insane, man? I like this guy. He's crazy. What are we doing? Something you would never do in Rogue Squadron. Um, I died. We lost. That was a stupid idea, dude. You, th you said it was cool, though. Cool, but I didn't think. Never mind. Yeah, but the convoy's way over there. Put the bad guys between us and them. Echo Squadron, transfer all power to engines. Head below the Star Destroyer and wait for my signal. That was stupid. It's risky, but flying fast and close to the Star Destroyer's hull should get us to the other side safely. Oh. Steady. Hold. Maybe after you're done. Now, you have to fire all no. boost thrusters. Echo 5, wait, you're too- Oh man, you're too- 
Oh, Luke, where do you go now? You I'm following the leader. I'm going full speed. You get close to the Star Destroyers. I was close to the Star Destroyers. But you're not anymore. I'm just trying to follow my boss, man. My gosh, this was a stupid idea. Oh yeah, we're about ready to blow up. Wait. Wait, what? Echo four. Leave that quasar for now. Oh boy. Weapons free. Wait, that guy is defecting? Yep. Fire, Fire what now? It's I'm kind of on all smoky here. You know what? I've had worse. Let's destroy some ties. Oh no way. I was gonna say. Later, fools. R2, lock it down. Can't see with all the blasted smoke. My instruments are fried. We're doing this old school. Hang on, everyone. Missiles are for... Who needs missiles? I'm doing just fine, thank you very much. Unlike genius leader that says, hey, let's fight as close to that Star Destroyer as possible. How many did we lose? Look at my ship, man. In the name of security. So you told the Empire where to stick it? You could say that. That's how Scratch for. They're on my tail. Good looking out. Uncle Roger does not like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh-oh. My instruments are all gone. I hope you don't get a crack in the shield. Uh, I have a crack in my shield. Uh, Missile away. Missiles are lame in this. Come on, get them! Scratch five. <laughs> Things are not going well for us. Can I get some help here? He defected, it looks like. Yeah. That's the guy from the last episode. Aren't the other people on his team gonna be like, what are you doing, man? Uh, Squadron probably. They were his, the it was his command, the commander. And filled with reinforcements. Take the ties down. Oh, great, we're gonna die. But just don't take the guy that's I, it's, I wish I could, honey, I can't see. Okay. I'm kind of on fire here. Oh. Please won't get mad at you. Ah! You think? Don't tell me what to do, especially when I'm on fire. Yeah, it's called Star Wars. There's going to be more ties. Scratch. I lost count. <laughs> I got one. There's another one down. Hang on, everyone. We're not out of this yet. <laughs> Luke or Wedge would never have anybody do that. All right, everyone, let's go underneath the Star Destroyer for a shortcut. Said no one ever. Yes. Uh. Go. 
I can barely see. Oof. You know, I wanted a challenge. This is definitely it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna follow this Captain James guy. He's the only one I can really see right now. Where's my boss? There he is. I know how this Imperial fleet operates. I can tell they're prepping their capital ships for an attack right now. We need backup. Alright, I'll send you the rest of Echo Squadron with everything they've got. Heading towards a Star Destroyer. Again, facing its turrets this time. It's okay, our fleet's coming. Well, not fast enough. Never the optimist. Fleet is now at your location. Echo Squadron, keep the convoy safe while the flagship engages the <coughs> Leave it to us. Shields are not very good shape. The Empire is sending in a raider to intercept the convoy. We have to take that raider down. Pilot, with me. Wait, what now? Whoa! Okay, where is everybody? Hang on! Still smoking here! You want me to destroy that thing? Alright, hang on. Uncle Roger has a special delivery. Rice of death! The Raiders lost shields. They're trying to get cover from the capital ships. Whoa! This Finish this. Whoa! Ah! Okay, that wasn't good. Oh, it's not like Rogue Squadron. If I would have hit that thing, I would have blown up. Yeah. It's it's X Wing versus TIE Fighter totally. I know, I know. It was a PC game where it was kinda like this, except nowhere near as cool as this. What year did it come out? Ninety seven? Raider is gone. Before, Good before work. Squadron, or... Oh yeah. Let's get that convoy to a safer location. Ninety four, ninety five. Head to the far side of the MC eighty. There was like a new uh X Wing versus TIE Fighter game like every every year on PC. Francisco says, surrender to the Empire. Never! Mm -hmm, mm -mm. Brandon Leake says, you can do it, Luke. Kind of on fire here. Frigate's gone. Refugee convoy. We're out of time. We've got to get you out of here. Refugee convoy to Rebel Alliance. We're ready for light speed jump. Wait. The Star Destroyer will be watching all possible vectors. They can still find you. Pilot, it's risky. But if we can destroy the targeting system on the vigilance, we might throw them off the convoy's trail. I'm, I'm sorry, crazy man, say what? You two are attacking the Star Destroyer? What? Let's hope your feet can keep those shields down. Do you see my ship, dude? Take down the vigilance's targeting. So bad. This is a bad idea. I'm trying to move. I can't see on account of whoa, smoke and whatever else. Oh, that can't be good. Whoa! Ah! Are you being for real right now? Okay. Oh, I went too high. Whoa! I'm kind of surprised I haven't died yet. Whoa! Oh! Okay! I should have blown up, but I'll take it. Yeah, there's no health power ups. This is not Rogue Squadron. This is X Wing versus TIE Fighters, so. Oof! Basically. Okay. Yeah. I would have blown up by now if this was Rogue Squadron. <laughs> Who do we get help? 
I don't know. But we survived. Don't ask me how. I never remember getting health in any squadron. Yeah, you do. Get clear, there are ties! Why would I get clear? Whatever happens next, you saved a lot of innocent lives. Uh-huh. I wanna shoot some ties. My instruments are fried? I can't I wanna sh Oh. I guess they want me to escape now. <laughs> you didn't die? <laughs> Don't ask me how. The night's still young. Star Wars Master says, Down with the Empire. Death oh. count is one so far. Pull the rebellion. I'm just sitting here. Okay, there we go. I love how it looks when you go to warp speed. So awesome. I know. No light speed. Four years later. So now, probably after the events of Return of the Jedi. We all choose our path. Light or dark. Freedom or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. Oh, that's Leia. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting to show the Empire that we are Luke Skywalker not cameo. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. However, the Empire lives on, shattered though it may be. As I speak, Imperial forces are edging toward the Bormia sector, hoping to end our new Republic before we find our footing. As their empire collapses, they try to tighten their grip. But the galaxy is changing, and you can be a part of it. With the help of brave and daring pilots, this war can end. Make a choice. Fly with the new Republic. Change our galaxy for the better. Okay. Star Wars Squadrons EA. It's in the game. Uh, you have completed the prologue, but your adventure is just beginning. You can now continue the story or go to the main menu. Let's continue the story. Vanguard Squadron to Temperance. Do you read us now? Had some trouble with our long-range comms. You're the third patrol reporting comm blackouts. Head on back, Gunny. The well, not to brag, forward. but I do know my way around Max Wing, so it's in the name. Chasing our tail for <laughs> hours, and now we're late to meet the new boss. Well, do you want to race home, Chris? We might make it before his speech ends. Well done, Luke. <laughs> Thank you. And I was on fire. Thank you very much. Keo, I ain't racing you. I learned my lesson the first twelve. Ash, the speech is starting. Mr. Strange 18 says that was intense. They should increase the difficulty for when you crash so you blow up. I'm not one for speeches. So I agree. I'll just say I'm honored to assume command of the Temperance in this fleet. Yeah. Vanguard Squadron's reputation for bravery and integrity is unrivaled, which is why I effected immediately. We have been reassigned to an initiative codenamed Project Starhawk. Starhawk? Then those rumors about a secret project are true. What do you think it is, huh? Some kind of weapon? The key to victory. If it helps end the war, who cares? I care. I like to know who I'm working for. The good guys, Frisk. Remember? The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death knock on you? Ah, Grace. The day ain't over yet. <sighs> Come on. Back to the temperance. We can His meet the new boss. And anyone else he's bringing along. <laughs> the teeth make you uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hopefully everyone's having a great night and great to see everyone in the chat today. Ah, there you are. Ardo said to expect you. I'm Zarel the Sage, Chief Mechanic, and this here's the Temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. Speaking of, here's the rest of your squadron. 
Hey, Gunny, I got your new pilot over here. You go ahead, I'll meet you in there. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. I'm Kyra Kuva. You can call me Gunny. Happy to have you on the team. Let's talk after the briefing, eh? You've, you've got a robot arm. You're joining one of the best outfits in the New Republic. Hope you can live up to it. Anyway, follow them into the briefing room. I think our new commander's waiting for you in there. <laughs> robot arm, because why not? Never heard of you. I flew with a group called Rogue Squadron. Who are you, rookies? Yeah, who are you, posers? I, I fought in the Battle of Endor. Huh. Right. Shot down uh, 50 ties. One, two Star Destroyers. Oh, the one who saved your skin at Foster Haven. Ardo Baradai, Fleet Intelligence, a pleasure. I heard they rewarded you with a posting to Chandrilla. A real honor. Very safe. But a good pilot shouldn't just gather dust. I needed people I can trust. And I figured you'd want to get back into the action. Huh. There's no shortage of that around here. Right. Let's get you briefed. Welcome back to the front line, Vanguard 5. Wait, what's her name? Vanguard 5? I've been demoted. I'm in Vanguard now. Don the werewolf says, long live the Alliance. I'm not in Wedge as a rogue squadron anymore. Do you get to create your own X-Wing? I guess we'll find it. Whoa! Find out. <laughs> that's, that's a friendly looking guy. As you've no doubt experienced. The Empire is jamming communications across Don't the sector. Don't trust lizard people. I Don't fear ask. these blackouts could be a prelude to invasion. Vanguard squad. <laughs> I need you to split up to solve this. Chris and Grace, bring our new pilot hmm. to the Brental system's borders. The scouts we sent to investigate haven't reported in. Find out what happened to them. Then regroup with your squadron near the planet Cavus. Gunny and Keo, that's where you're headed. If I were still an Imperial, well, I'd send jamming ships there. Knowing the Empire, I expect they're using these jamming vessels to disrupt our long-range comms. They'll have TIE squadrons in tow. Destroy all Imperial squadrons and jammers. Communications must be restored for Project Starhawk's future. When you've succeeded, regroup and return to the Temperance. Let's see how you do, Vanguard Squadron. Got a moment. Hello, Grace Salia Vitara Sina. Grace, if you like. It's a pleasure. I've been with Vanguard long enough for Gunny to trust me with second position. And she doesn't trust easily. Especially those from Imperial families. Well, everyone finds out sooner or later. Yes, unfortunately, my dear estranged family builds TIE fighters for the Empire. And I take great delight in blasting those fighters to stardust. I trust you will too. See you out there. Uncle Roger wants to know if you like fried rice. Hey! Luke, nobody knows who Uncle Roger is! Uh, He's Uncle oh, hey. Roger! I'm Keo Venzi. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. You'll do great things with us. Trust me. This is an amazing team. I went from semi-pro racing to fighting the Empire. Quite a change. But everyone in Vanguard lives the others. You'll fit right in. What does semi-pro mean? This Project Starhawk is, I suppose the commanders will tell us when they're ready. But for now, we have scouts to find. According to the battle plan, we aren't flying together on this mission. But you'll be on my wing sooner than later. See you out there. I don't know what semi-pro is. The... Maybe it's her way of saying I could have gone pro. I don't know. It was almost pro. Hmm. Okay. That's. Uh, yeah, they need better outfits. And the New Republic, mm. they all dress in browns and grays. They look very depressed. Tell me about it. Oh. Hey, great to see you guys, Ethan, Eric, Latias. Cassie and Amy, Dylan, John Doe, and um, Yeep. Nice everybody coming you. in. Squad calls me Frisk. Only Grace calls me by my real name, and only when she's mad. 
I know it's not often you find a handsome fella like me fighting for the rebellion, or New Republic, or whatever we are now. I used to be in what you might call acquisitions, you know, hunting down trophies, antiques, anything collectors wanted. Until I got that pesky death mark, of course. How was I supposed to know that painting was fake? Huh? Or that the Imperial Governor was going to show it off to Admiral Thrawn? Admiral Thrawn? Great about this place, though. Reference. They always got a berth for a good pilot. Death mark or not. Well, say, you play Sabak? I'm trying to learn, but no one around here ever wants to play me. Maybe we could, uh... Go a few rounds, huh? <laughs> For credits, of course. It's the only way I'm gonna learn, right? Guess we should get on and fix that calm blackout. Okay. Random exposition is really necessary. <sighs> Finally, chance to get acquainted. Like I said, the name's Gunny. Stay sharp. Keep your nose clean, and we'll be off to a good Robo arm. Robo arm. We had blackouts like this right before the Empire invaded yep. Mimban. Lost a lot of friends, but I learned to shoot a blaster. You'll be flying with Frisk and Grace today. Meet them if you haven't. Okay. The best advice I can give you is this: stick with your squadron. It's simple, but sometimes hot shots and lone wolves need to hear it. Get to your ship. Yeah, I'm not flying with my squadron. <laughs> Nothing special says, okay, now I know who Uncle Roger is. I come from the Lilat system. I ignore the fact that I had to Google it up, but I know who it is. Yeah, Uncle Roger's amazing. A mission already? Good. I'm not one for waiting around. Got an X-Wing ready for you here. A real beauty if you need... Sorry. The droid's giving me the eye. Little rust buckets are always planning something, right? I was gonna say, if you need anything for that shiny starfighter of yours, just come to me, all right? I'll see you fixed up. We should run a pre-flight check on your X-Wing. Climb into the cockpit when you're ready. Can I customize my X-Wing? Nope. All right, so they want us to go to the X-Wing now. X-Wing. Backbone of the Rebel Alliance and our new Republic. A good all-rounder that'll stand up to any starfighter or capital ship in the Imperial fleet. Coming right up. Tell me what you need. Are we going in now? Eric says, Luke and Amber, you do not know the power of blue milk. Ugh. What does that mean? The milk that Luke drank in Last Jedi. Oh, I'm sorry for Oops. Check. All right. I'm loading in your astromech droid now. Keep an eye on it. John Doe says, Admiral Thrawn, one of my favorite Imperials. Yep, he got a uh, verbal cameo in this. We got a pre flight check to do. All right. Let's mess with our instruments. Working like a dream. Linda says she's really been uh, loving and watching us since Arkham Asylum. Awesome. Combat display. Combat display check. Primary weapons charged up, ready to take down ties. Throttle and boost, good to go. Hull integrity, never better. You're welcome. All systems go. Vanguard 5, you are clear for launch. Good luck out there. Psh, Vanguard 5. Psh. I used to be Rogue 6. And at one point, Rogue 3, because two other guys blew up. I got promoted. <laughs> what I did. Well, it's a nice benefit, but it means your friends have to, like, bite the dust. So. I wasn't really friends with them. Luke. What? I didn't even know their names. They were just on my wing. They're on your team. Well, that was back during Endor. I'll be nicer to these guys. Stay close, Vanguard 5. Clear for your mission parameters, Vanguard Squadron. This is good. 
find the scouts, smash the jamming ships, and get back before the cantina closes. I think Commander Jave skipped that in the briefing. Thanks, Ardo. We'll be careful. Regroup at Cabas once you find our missing pilots, all right? See you soon. Good luck, you two. Oh, my leader broke off. Oh, that's where we're going. Now, to someone who's played Rogue Squadron to, like, gold medal status, uh, this is very different. But it's a lot of fun. So if you like um, flight combat sim games, I think you'll enjoy this one. But it plays very, very differently. Um, I've been making a lot of comparisons to X-Wing versus TIE Fighter or... X-Wing and TIE Fighter series, because it's very similar to that. You smash into things, you don't blow up. Whereas in Rogue Squadron, if you hit something, um, you might bounce off it if you're lucky, but most of the time you're going to explode. So, this never gets old. Hey, Grace. very different. Never. Enjoy your grilled cheese sandwich, prodigious tea. And this game can only be played in first-person cockpit mode. And uh, you can play using the PlayStation VR and a flight stick. No scouts showing on sensors. You got anything, Grace? Negative. We've got to okay, be Grace is our leader for this here. episode. Wait. I've got a Republic signal. Temperance, we may have found them. Heavy interference. Gunny and Key will take care of that shortly. We should investigate the signal and regroup with them. Also, it doesn't show my S foils closed. My S foils are supposed to close so I can do stuff. I hope the scouts are all right. Me too, Grace. Me too. Inside of the ship looks amazing, though. There's our target. Like, all these buttons actually have uh, different abilities. <clears throat> like, right now, I just activated my shields. <clears throat> I balanced everything. Throttle. Weapons free. Yeah, yeah, scanning more debris. Scanning debris. One second, please. Target the wreck and close in. We can't let our allies die in vain. Such brutality. Even that astromech got dusted. Someone really didn't want these Why do we have a Y Wing with us? Hey, I don't know. Signal. Frisk, you idiot! Aren't they really slow? Yes! Follow me. They're the workhorse of the Rebel fleet, but they're slow as dirt. You only use those things for, like, important bombing runs, or... I don't know, if you're Wedge. What if they don't have very many ships available? Uh... Well, that used to be the thing, but... They have stuff now. Something's not right. If we're lucky, something survived the attack. Stay ready for anything. Alright, where is my debris I need to scan? Going to all Wait, balance mode? That's not a new Republic signal. It's Imperial. Oh, here we go. Got shields. Come on. Um, X Wing Loop. Wait. Oh no, you were an X Wing. I'm in an X Wing. It's a fancy X Wing. Well. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, can you do third person mode too? No. <gasps> Whoa. First, first person only. What do you think of that? You like it? Or... Eh. You, you... I prefer third person so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, me too. 
And you can see what your ship looks like. Alright, that does it for that. I also like being able to shoot two missiles at once. I can only shoot one missile oh, wow. in this one. I, I would shoot multiple miss missiles if this was a rogue squad. I like to do a volley of missiles followed by laser blasts. Especially when attacking Star Destroyers. I can't do that in this one. I only, the missile locks on and I only get to fire one every, like, I think it's 15 or 30 seconds. Zeroblade mm. says it's strange sending a Y-Wing bomber on a mission like this. Exactly! That's what I was going to say. All right. Um. And great to see everyone coming in. Hey, Chad. Hey, John Doe. Hey, everybody. And um, thank you so much for all your help, That's Simons, it. and everyone. Nice work, Vanguard 5. Let's see. That path was leading them. <gasps> toward Gunny and Keo's coordinates. If I'm quick, maybe we can cut off the Empire before they find our friends. Marking coordinates. Hopefully they don't know we're coming. Let's do this right, for the scouts we lost. Lead the way, Vanguard 5. Wait, I'm the leader now? Okay, Why well... Why are you the leader now? No, they asked me to lead the way, so I'm now squad leader. Although I don't think I can issue commands. We face it together. So, also the AI in this game are way smarter than a Rogue Squadron. You had to use your command cross to tell your other pilots what to do in Rogue Squadron. Um, this one, the AI... Is actually helpful. No sign of Gunny or Keo. That's the source of our comms plan. Frisk, bomb those jamming ships. Sure thing, Grace. I'll soften them up. You two finish them off. Going after ties. Oh. Missile evasion. You can evade a missile by making uh, sharp turns in different directions, divert power to engines, and set your throttle at half speed to make this easier. Roger that. But I'm going after Ty's first. Very cute. They're on my tail? Good looking out. Oh. Brian in the chat said, good hit, and then Eric said, Eric Johnson said, great, Brian, but don't get cocky. <laughs> uh, Star Wars uh, quote there. Yep. Okay. High interceptor going. Good to see you guys. Amy, hi Charles, hi everybody. Did anyone see that? No? That's a hit! Yeah, there's some inaccuracies to this. When I have the S-foils down, I shouldn't be able to shoot. In this one, I can shoot for whatever reason. Or they don't let me put the S-foils down, which is, not gonna lie, a little annoying. Luke, we should do another movie commentary. Do another Star Wars one. Okay. What Star Wars ones have we done? Well, we did we Return of the did Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Okay. Well, time for me to lose my tail then. Scratch. More time. Oh, you're a slippery one. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. They're right behind you. Are they now? Burning power to shields. The game looks really good. Oh, I picked up a tail. Like, it looks like all the stars are just shooting past you or something. Yep. Really I've got my throttle maxed right now. See, I would tell them to attack the guns while I deal with the fighters. Reverting power to shields. Oh, 
This is locked. Confirm kill. Barrel roll! I'm on it. Ooh. I didn't see. Oh wait, I'll wait till you. Hmm? This. Well, I didn't see the people were talking about the milk. I didn't see this comment that John Doe says. I thought it was green milk that Luke drank in the Last Jedi, and it was blue milk in A New Hope. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> We'll destroy them ship to ship. Yeah, I don't do that. I'm not saying thank you. I'm not just any X Wing pilot, not by a long shot. <laughs> nice. Imperial reinforcements. Another goes anti with ties. And we take them out too. What do you mean out of range? How could that be out of range? Great to see you guys. I'm um, Rebecca and everybody. Requesting resupply. When needed, you can request a resupply droid. Supply droid will temporarily attach to your ship, repairing the hull and... Oh, there we go. Resupply. Triangle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Press triangle. There we go. Everything jammed up. That's a weird looking ship. Don't bump into me. Yeah. Roger's like, don't bump into me. Luke, I just checked my switch and Wolverine is in Fortnite from Chad. We'll try to, uh, I'll try to stream Wolverine tonight at 11. Vanguard, we have an Imperial cruiser protecting the last of the jammers. Taking down these ships ain't gonna be easy. Not while the cruiser has a missile launcher. We'll keep our countermeasures ready. What's on play? If we take out the jammers first, we can call the temperance for reinforcements. That's why you're in charge, Cubby. Vanguard 5, focus on the jammers. Mm-hmm. Copy. Copy that. Here we go. They're locked on to me. <gasps> why is there an alarm set on my phone? <laughs> All right. I do not know. Countermeasures can quickly shake missiles off your tail, but they are limited in number, so use them sparingly. To deploy countermeasures, keep an eye on your missile incoming meter and press circle. Don't tell me how to fly. You people are really annoying. Might be. Yeah, that starts. Let's finish off the last one. Hey, hey. You did your job. Mm -hmm. Where are the ties then? I don't see any ties. Just got these giant thingies bothering me. Oh, whatever. See how my gauge is uh, changing? Like, right now, blue means mm -hmm. I have all thrusters on. Okay. Where are the like, on the... Oh. See the Christmas there. lights? Yeah, I see. Watch how it's going to go all red. Now my weapons are stronger. You can divert your power to whatever you need it to. So I just increase my shields. Oh, wow. How do you do that? That's 
Pressing the command cross. So you can get more power in different areas. Yep. Just like X Wing versus TIE Fighter. A little bit. How much did you play X Wing versus TIE Fighter? My dad played it more than I did. I didn't like it because you had to use a um, flight stick. Or a joystick. Mm, yeah, that's cool. Um, there it says we should do. We could do Empire Strikes Back since it's the 40th anniversary. Oh wow! And you just watch the movie again in the theaters for the 40th anniversary. Ah! I didn't know theaters were even up around. Cruiser destroyed. That's awesome. Flavor or the Imperial Jams? Don't know. It... Oh. What, Amber, what flavor are the Imperial Jammers using? I don't know, cherry flavor? <laughs> They're giving us the raspberry. I'd say that wasn't bad for a first run. One death so far. And it was the squad leader's fault. Alright, let's see how I did. Ah, uh, no efficiency medal. Dang it! Uh, though losing the scouts is a blow to the Vanguard squadron, you have pushed back an Imperial incursion and restored communications across... Uh, some sector. Vanguard Squadron's next mission lies ahead. So, got a bronze medal. Meh. Story medal. I got a defense breaker. And, okay. But I didn't get efficiency. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, it is good that this is set in the uh, original trilogy. I agree with that. This takes place after a Return of the Jedi now. It starts uh, right after um, Alderaan is blown to tiny bits. Oh, okay. But yeah, like Luke was saying, it, people really love the, the original trilogy. Won't push so. our territory again anytime soon. Thanks to our new pilot. Yeah, and thanks to the rest of us. This isn't a race, all right? We're a team. You're right, Gunny. But still, nice flying out there. Speaking of fancy flying. I was thinking about the Dragon Void run from a few years back. You see that one, Keo? Oh, sure. I caught the whole thing in the hollow net. Yeah, me too. I watched the entire thing, but for the life of me, I can't recall who won. I think it was one of the Ash Twins. No, wait. Delon Vuce. Yeah, that's it. Boy, he was something else back then. In fact, the only pilot I've seen that comes close since is Keo here. Oh, come on. Delon Vuk's got nine championships under his belt. I've only got five. Well, fun as this is, Commander Javes has someone special waiting for us in the briefing room. Let's get in there and find out what's next. Hmm. Jack Robbins wants to know, are you enjoying Commander the game, waiting. Luke? Yes. Okay, so I can inspect my ship, but can I change my ship? Okay, I'm just looking at my X-Wing. Cockpit. Oh, this is beautiful, though. How is my head able to turn that far back? See all the stuff inside the X-Wing? R2 unit back there. 
the detail of this is amazing. So in Ro Rogue Squadron, you can only uh, look over here, here, and then you could look above you if you needed to. Um, but you can't look, you know, all the way behind you and stuff like that. But I prefer third person. Um, first person takes some getting used to, but they did this really well. So all these different buttons actually do stuff. Your uh, one gauge right here, which was I calling your Christmas lights, the blue, the red, and the green. Blue is for thrusters. Red is for full-on weapons. Green is for shields. And you can activate and boost them at any time by hitting the uh, appropriate, like, command cross or gamepad thing. So right would be... I think this this is right, right? Amber, this is right? That's left. Okay, never mind. Left is your um, thruster. Up is blasters. And right would be your shields. And then if you press down, it balances everything so it's distributing the power equally. And then... Uh, what else is there to do? That's cool. So they made... They went into a lot of, like, thought about what the inside of the cockpit actually looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this actually R2-D2? No. R2-D2 is Aww. somewhere else. Right? So I guess they want us to... Yay, you guys, like... Oh! Um, so where is it now? I helped Talus Group take Wedge! away from a medical convoy towards Yavin. It's pinned in the upper atmosphere with no hyperdrive, but too many fighters for Talus Group to handle alone. This might work out for both of us. Come, meet our visitor. Wedge Antilles, Rogue Squadron. Huh? I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. I have a Star Destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help me solve. We need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk. Intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, if you would. Rogue Squadron! It's very nice that you enjoy all of them, um, Jack. I mean, everybody has their own favorite. As you may have overheard, mm -hmm. Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. You'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull, preferably near the bridge. Once you find a good spot, Bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge and is in control of the Star Destroyer, we will rendezvous with the Templates. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. Sorry for the speedy introduction. But Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Sloppy Destroyer here, and get away with it. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this. But General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling... Well, that's classified too. General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too. At Skystrike Academy. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. Look, I appreciate the talk, but... Uh, Talus groups waiting for us. We're just going to be flying with us? Cool. Red 2 standing by. No, he's rogue leader. Oh, never mind. <gasps> We're in the room? From yeah. Star Wars A New Hope? No, this is a different a star starship, honey. Aren't you tossing them in the deep end a little early, Lyndon? Vanguard can handle it. Can't you? Besides... Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for, well, you know. 
Wedge made a name for himself at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. You'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice, you'd be smart to listen. You know, a wounded Krakana can still fight. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer, huh? Get out there as soon as you can. Wow, I like all the reference. So he said that Rogue Squadron is actually doing something that is classified. So oh. he's hanging out with Vanguard. Rogue Squadron is still the better squadron. Oh, so they're saying... Rogue Leader is working with us. They are doing something. Okay, so they're saying that Rogue Squadron is real. I mean, it makes sense because Wedge was in Rogue Squadron. He also just mentioned, like, at this time, after the events of uh, Return of the Jedi, um, the Rogue Squadron 2 game, they were doing some stuff. And the Rogue Squadron N64 game, they were flying missions after Return of the Jedi. So, sometimes Wedge was there, sometimes Wedge wasn't. So. Press the R1 button twice for options. Okay. Press cross button for accessibility options. All right, that was a good stopping point. Um, yeah, so, so far, people are wondering how you like the game, but you already said that, I think. I like it. It's very similar to, uh, X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, with some elements of Rogue Squadron with the arcade aspect to it, but it's a little different. Um, it's not bad. I mean, the game's, like, $39 or something like that. Yeah. So, it's pretty good. It's pretty cool. So Story we'll mode's be, a lot of fun. We'll be doing a, a stream series of this, guys. And... Yep, there'll be another episode of this tomorrow at 6, so I hope to see you guys then. There is a Super Mario Galaxy stream starting up at 8 o'clock. It might be the finale of the Mario aspect of it. I'm not sure. But we hope to see you guys there. Part 2 of uh, not Rogue Squadron. Uh, Star Wars Squadrons will be tomorrow as uh, Uncle Roger will be uh, working with Wedge Antilles. So that's going to be exciting. Hmm. So thanks for watching, awesome. people. <laughs> and we'll see you at 8 o'clock with your next live stream on Super Mario. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. God bless and happy gaming. May the force be with you. See ya.